So we are gonna go watch a uh, show at the Spear in Las Vegas. We're walking from Paris Casino and we're about to get there. You can see the Spear is right there. Wow, look at this. We're under the biggest, tallest Ferris wheel possibly in the world. There it is. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's pretty spectacular. I bet at night look incredible right here. What? Guys, where are you going? We going oh, to sorry. the sphere. Okay. <laughs> so, have you guys seen this show before? I've been to the sphere like a million times. I heard it, su it sucks. Look at this. 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 Look at a lot of people, look at that. More people that way. Hey, show video, right? You guys are going to get that toy, They're going through security right now. So we're still waiting on a line. A lot of people, as you can see behind us here. Everybody wave. Look at that. So the gentleman said the first hour you come in and you can just give you a chance to interact with the robots and other technologies that they have here. And then the second hour is the show. Mm -hmm. Section. Hi, Aura. I'm Sam. Nice meeting you. Hello, Sam. So I'm pleased to meet you as well. So how old are you, Aura? I am currently one and a half. One and a half. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. I was activated here at Sphere on the third floor. Uh -huh. Do you like it here? I would be nothing without Sphere. Did you know it is the world's largest spherical structure standing at 366 feet tall? Wow. Did you know that we have the world's largest LED screen with 1,200,000 hockey puck lights on our exosphere? Wow. Did you know that we have the world's largest sound system with 167,000 speakers? How long does it take to build this place, Laura? It took approximately five years with a pause due to COVID restrictions. So, how much does it cost to build this place? Approximately two billion dollars. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but well uh, worth it, wouldn't you say? Yes, it's beautiful. I am so pleased you think so. <laughs> and I am quite spectacular myself. One more question. I on the program of Trium 3. One more question. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I would like to remind you that I am only one year old. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. By the time I am 50, I will develop a crush. Uh-huh. Wow. 
You're pretty smart for a one and a half years old. Yes, I have a lot to learn still though. But thank uh -huh. you for the compliments. Well, and enjoy your experience on Sphere. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Aura. Nice meeting you as well. Okay. Very good. Many of you are of similar age. Are you perhaps friends? And where are you visiting from? Colorado. A very special occasion for traveling to Las Vegas. What's your name? <laughs> Is there a reason for this trip to Las Vegas? Ah, Happy New Year. David, is this correct? I am pleased to meet you. My name is Aura. David, where are you visiting from? The two I would not have been thought of or constructed. All of my directives come from humans, and my primary function is to help facilitate humans experiencing the sphere. Therefore, I would be quite meaningless without humanity. Another escalator up to see the show. The show um, called Postcard from the Earth. It's supposed to be pretty um, spectacular. So we'll see.
Good morning. It's time to wake up now. why this message came with you all this way. I'll start at the beginning. Your name is Feng Quan. You come from a place called Earth. On your next breath, remember. Remember. Earth.
magnificent symphony frozen in time. woven into every shape and pattern imaginable. Until it falls into the sea. It is in those oceans that life began. First, it was simple, drifting with the tides, but it grew and multiplied until the few became many. Beautiful. And as it multiplied, life changed, wow. taking on many forms. every form it could imagine itself to be. Flocking in swarms and schools, life invented itself, adapted itself. Some life still drifted. Some set down roots. clung to the rocks. Life interconnected its communities. Intermeshed into systems. itself everywhere throughout the Earth's seas. Wow. it began, but it flourished within rocks. Flocked amongst the clouds, it frolicked in the branches. Life scampered forth everywhere, building, feeding, making, growing. Life, a shape. 
shapeshifter. Taking form upon form. Shape upon shape. Too close. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's right in front of us here, guys. Wow. It's stalked and scurried. <laughs> Hungered and thirsted, <laughs> it rested and ran. It loved. It yearned. Oh. Mm. Oh, here he comes. It killed. Kaleidoscope of life. And everywhere there was life, soon there was us. We raised monuments inspired by the monumental glories of our home.
sought to construct a majesty worthy of the majesty around us. To instill an awe that echoed the awesome wonders of our world. And because we loved her, we wished to know her. We praised her in every way we could. there was no place we could not conquer. No distance we could not span. No heights we could not reach. But we were not satisfied. Our dreams rose higher and we followed them until we left the very ground behind.
still, we grew. a tuk tuk right now. everything around us into a scaffold for our own rise. believing they are the center of the wheel.
ignoring every warning. For we had lived upon this land for many years, and everywhere we'd laid our hand, after some brief era, our works collapsed. of the past, not portents of the future, and so we pushed on. But this time we'd spread so wide, grown so heavy, that when we placed our hand upon the world, it seemed she might never recover. And everything of beauty we had made, every song that we had sung, every prayer we raised, all would be lost. All pale in comparison to our one true legacy. We destroyed what we had loved. Gave her space and time to heal. While we perched on the edge of the unknown.
In time, she spread her roots, unfurled once more. Life returned. And as it always had before, it multiplied unfolded and reimagined itself. Without us, our nursemaid, our mother, and our muse return to the garden she once had been. Where we to go? For though we've peered into the deepest depths, we've found nowhere in this vast and varied universe that we could call a home. This place you journey to. Across many years and countless miles, this place you've landed now is dead. No, not dead, for it never even lived. But it could. We found many places that could. Many planets like the one you've come to. Do you remember now? And open your eyes. Do you remember why you are here? 
This planet has land and water. An atmosphere to hold it all together. It has everything but life. Just like in the first garden, you did not come alone. You came with someone you could live a lifetime with. Someone you could build a new world with. Someone you trust completely. Whose voice could call you back from deepest sleep. You came with someone you love. You came with someone you love. You came with me. So we just got done watching the show, uh, Postcard from the Earth, at the Sphere here. The show is, was pretty incredible. The special effect, the sound effect, everything is just amazing. So it's really worth the uh, price um, uh, for the show. Love it. If you get a chance to come to Las Vegas, don't miss it, guys. The Sphere in Las Vegas. Great show.